Hello friends and welcome. When we think spring, many of us immediately envision spring flowers blooming, birds singing and building nests, and the days getting warmer and longer. And some of us also look forward to Sephora's annual spring savings event, which is right around the corner. This year, it begins on Friday, April 5th, and runs through April 15th for Rouge members who get 20% off their purchase. And for those of us who are VIB or Beauty Insiders, the sale goes from Tuesday, April 9th through the 15th. VIB members get 15% off and Beauty Insiders get 10% off. And if you're not yet a Beauty Insider, it's not too late. It's easy to sign up on this for a website so you can take advantage of sale priced makeup and beauty products. To get your discount when you purchase online, simply type in the promo code YAY SAVE. And if you shop in person at the stores, simply mention the sale when you check out. Well, I imagine that many of you, like me, have been thinking about the makeup and other beauty products you want to replenish during the sale, as well as some items you may have been adding to your wish list. So today I want to share with you three categories of products all of which I highly recommend. One category I've classified as old loves, which are products that aren't new, but which have definitely stood the test of time and are all time favorites. My second category is new loves, which are products I've tried more recently that I feel are real standouts. And the third category is my wish list, those products which I'm definitely interested in purchasing. Although when I actually check out, I may need to exercise a little self-control and remove a few of them from my cart. Before we have some fun talking about products, I wanna say hi and welcome to anyone who's here for the first time. This channel celebrates positive aging for those of us over 50. We talk about beauty tips, techniques, and products that can make the biggest difference for us now so we can feel even more confident and beautiful. And we occasionally also delve into the worlds of fashion and wellness. So if this focus is right up your alley, please subscribe before you leave today. Well, doesn't it seem like Sephora has been around forever? <laughs> well, in actuality, the first US store opened in 1998, the first Canadian store opened in 2004, and the first Australian store opened in 2014. Now, there are more than 500 stores in the US and over 3,000 stores worldwide in 35 different markets. And in the United States, there are also more than 850 Sephora stores located inside Kohl's department stores. Talk about amazing growth. But now let's zero in on some old Sephora loves. And by the way, if you've previously watched some of my Sephora sale recommendation videos, you'll most likely be familiar with the old love products that I'll be sharing. So you may want to jump to the new loves and wish list segments, which you can find by checking the timestamps below. And as always, I've also included in the description box below links to all the products that I'll be talking about today. If you use these links to purchase a product, there's no additional cost to you. And it's a truly wonderful way to support this channel, which I very greatly appreciate. The first products I want to focus on are skincare products. I remain true to a brand of skincare products, which I've been using for approximately three years now. My skin is super sensitive and my skin definitely lets me know when it's not happy with skincare products. I will often get headaches or redness, irritation, or all three. But I have never had any issues whatsoever with these products and I've gotten great results from them. They're from LA esthetician Shani Darden, who is the go-to skincare expert for many Hollywood A-listers. I love her oil-free weightless moisturizer, which has worked under every foundation I've ever used it under, her retinol reform product that helps diminish fine lines, and her lactic acid product, which helps brighten and smooth the skin in order to give it more glow. I find it helpful to alternate the nights that I use these products. Whenever I'm in a department store or a Sephora, I cannot help but try out a few perfume testers. But I have yet to find a fragrance that tops my longtime favorite Chanel fragrances, which are Coco, Chanel No. 5, and Allure. And here are two of them. Or my newer favorite, which is Tom Ford's Black Orchid. However, during the upcoming Sephora sale, I am going to get a sample of another all-time classic fragrance, Victor Rolf's Flower Bomb, if it's still available when I place my order. And if you've watched any of my previous videos, you most likely also are aware of my undying love for the Hourglass Ambient Light Finishing Powders, as well as the Ambient Light Strobe 
highlighting powders. I think that for our mature skin, the soft focus, subtle glow that these finishing powders create improves our finished look dramatically. I would love to purchase the newest Hourglass Ambient Light palette from last holiday season, but it's almost always sold out when it goes on sale. Well, now I want to move on to my top three foundations and eyeshadow palettes, which are old loves. The foundations include one clean beauty product, the Revealer Foundation from Kosas, as well as a NARS Light Reflecting Foundation and Charlotte Tilbury's Beautiful Skin Foundation. If I want to look my very best, I'll always gravitate toward these three foundations, as well as one from Doll 10, which is a brand that Sephora doesn't carry. And my Kosas Concealer is also a favorite as well. The three eyeshadow palettes I often gravitate toward will also come as no surprise to you whatsoever since they're all from Natasha Denona. Her My Dream palette, her I Love a Nude palette, and my all-time favorite Retro Glam palette, which I'm using today. If the Retro Glam palette doesn't create beautiful spring eyeshadow looks, I don't know what does. So you'll most likely see me using this palette over the next few months. As long as we're talking about eyes, I want to mention my go-to under eye correcting cream, as well as my very favorite eye primer. Well, thank goodness, when the brand Becca was discontinued by L'Oreal, the brand Smashbox took over one of Becca's best-selling products, their under eye brightening corrector cream. This is such a classic because its wonderfully creamy consistency does a great job of camouflaging under eye circles. And the eye primer that does the best job of camouflaging darkness and veins on my eyelids is the Makeup by Mario Master Eye Prep and Set Eye Primer that also comes with powder. I love being able to customize the color since you get two different shades when you purchase the small palette. And I also love how handy it is to have powder in this very same small palette. If I want my eyeshadow to go on smoothly and easily, I'll always apply this powder after applying my eye primer. Well, lip gloss and contours round out my old loves list. I can't seem to bring myself to use any glosses other than the ones from Lawless because of the beautiful shades, the formula, and how they feel on my lips. And many of them also come in a shimmer formula, which I especially love. Well, the contours I reach for often are from Rare Beauty and Huda. What makes these contour standout products is how easily they apply and blend since one look that I think most of us want to avoid is the look of contour stripes on our faces. So a wonderfully blendable contour can make a world of difference in creating a flawless look. Now let's move on to my new loves list. It was so much fun this year to actually find three new mascaras that my easily irritated eyes could tolerate. Two of them are available at Sephora the Tower 28 mascara, and the mascara from Gwen Stefani's brand Give. And just for the record, my third favorite mascara, which is not available at Sephora, is my Thrive Cosmetics mascara. Four new blushes have made their way onto this new loves list. The beautiful new liquid afterglow blush from NARS, especially in the shade Wanderlust. A new color from makeup artist Patrick Ta's combination cream and powder blush line called She's Giving, which is a gorgeous, vibrant blue pink. But my two very favorites are the Save Beauty Blush Pink Glow, which also acts as a highlighter, and the Natasha Denona My Dream Cheek Trio, which has a soft, almost universally flattering cream blush shade, along with a cream highlighter and a powder highlighter. This is the Save Beauty Pink Glow Blush, and here's the Natasha Denona Cheek Trio. And I think I'm going to dot on just a little bit more of this blush. It's really a lovely neutral, which can work so well on so many of us. These highlighters are gorgeous and they don't magnify texture, which I'm finding to be more and more important as years go by. Natasha Denona makes it onto this list again with her new High Glam Concealer, which is beautifully lightweight and blendable, but which also has amazing coverage. And that's a tough combination of ingredients to get right, but she has really aced it. Rare Beauty's product on this list is their new powder highlighter, which has been so popular that it's rarely in stock. I have the shade Enlighten. When I want a really glowy highlight, I'll reach for this one. But I reach for it even more often to use it as eyeshadow when I want to add some brightness to the middle of my eyelids, which I did today. It really opens up my eyes, which helps them look bigger. The last product on this new loves list is a very unique and innovative product from makeup artist Danessa Myricks. It's her Yummy Skin product. I use shade 3. 
And what I love most about it is that it blurs my pores. It's extremely lightweight and it can be used in so many different ways. It can be used as a primer, it can be used as a contour or highlighter if you purchase a color at least two shades lighter or darker than your skin tone. And it can be used to set foundation, to add sheer coverage, and to set and add coverage. And now for my final category, my wish list. For skincare, I'd love to try Shawnee Darden's newer moisturizer, which is especially designed for dry skin. It's called her Hydration Peptide Cream. I've been very impressed with all of her other products, and since my skin is desert dry, I think I really need to invest in this moisturizer. Next on my list are two additional colors of two of my favorite blushes. The first is Say Beauty's Cream Blush. I have the gorgeous Pink Glow, which I showed earlier, which is a very light pink, but I want to purchase the slightly darker pink shade called Mauve Glow, since I love how this product works as both a blush and a highlighter. I absolutely love the glow it creates as well as a soft and creamy formula. For those of you with a warm or neutral undertone, you might want to take a look at this Say Beauty Blush Highlighter combo in the shade Peach Glow, which is stunning. I also want to purchase one of Patrick Ta's newest line extension colors in his combination powder and cream blush formula. This shade is called Just Enough and is a lovely soft blue-based pink. But one of his other newer colors is called She's the Moment and it's a lovely golden peach which could work beautifully for those of you with a warm or a neutral undertone. I think I may have to take this next product out of my cart and think about it for next fall since I really have to pare down my wish list. It's Save Beauty's Liquid Blush, which I've heard many people rave about. But the two new blushes that I mentioned previously are probably enough for me right now. The final three products include the Natasha Denona Yucca Eyeshadow Palette and two foundations. The interesting and unusual combination of colors in the Yucca Palette has always intrigued me and I feel a special affinity toward it since we recently moved from the southwest where yucca plants were a large part of the landscape that we loved. And the color story reminds me greatly of the southwest. I caved in a few days ago and purchased the other Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette I was interested in since Natasha Denona was having a sale. I was able to purchase the palette for 25% off instead of the 15% off I'd get during the Sephora sale. But when all was said and done, I actually only saved a few dollars by purchasing it from the Natasha Denona website. It's the Xenon palette. You're probably a little surprised that I purchased this palette, and to be honest, I never thought this was a palette I would purchase since it consists mostly of grays and black. But it also contains some light blue, gray matte, and shimmer shades, and one very light pink tone shade. Something about the beautiful shades of silver and the blue tone silvers really drew me in. Frankly, I can't imagine I'll actually use this palette that much, so I have very mixed emotions about spending the money on this palette, but I just kept being drawn back to it. It's so out of my comfort zone, so it will definitely be interesting to experiment with it and to share with you what I come up with. The final two products are both foundations. One is a longtime classic, the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation, and the other is a new release from KVD Beauty. It's their Good Apple Full Coverage Serum Foundation. This is a silicone-based foundation which can be tricky to use since it sometimes doesn't play well with other makeup products. I rarely use a silicone-based foundation since it doesn't work well over water-based products, but since this product has gotten rave reviews from two other makeup artists that I truly trust, I feel I have to check it out. It also intrigues me that it's full coverage but described as very lightweight. This product will definitely be interesting to try. Well, that wraps things up for today, and I hope you found this video helpful as you think about what products you'd like to replenish and or any new products you'd like to try during the upcoming Sephora Spring Savings event. And I can't wait to share with you how these products actually work on my mature skin. I wish you a wonderful weekend ahead as well as good health and happiness, and I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Take care.